Good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Thursday, and it is bill day 255. Yes, bill day 255 in the construction schedule out at Villa Feliz. Running a little late this morning. As you can see, laundry. It's laundry day for me. I have to do some catch-up work here. Uh, I'm a little bit behind on laundry. Uh, yesterday's semi-successful trip, going into town and looking for some of the supplies. Uh, some disappointments when it comes to out of stock availability and things like that. Uh, but we're going to press on. We're going to do what we can with what we have. Anyway, it's a questionable day. Uh, over there, questionable. Over here, beautiful. <laughs> so hopefully we have a good day. Again, most of the stuff is inside, so I'm not really concerned too much. I have to check this morning as we walk in to see if the compactor uh, folks are going to be joining us today. I hope they will. I don't know. Like I said, I am not too optimistic about it. So anyway, I'm going to take off and head out towards Villa Feliz. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <laughs> No good. Why no good? Half is good. The half is no good. <laughs> half is good. All right. Well, let's let's focus on the half that's good. Okay. I <laughs> see. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We've had a little bit of rain this morning. You can see everything is wet here, but there's not a lot going on in the outside except the finishing in the house, which the, the the roof line itself is helping cover up so people can actually get some work done out here. What I asked is that uh, the two shutters that we have over here that are not painted, I asked that they take that paint that I picked up yesterday at Wolcon and uh, we're gonna paint those. It's a little bit darker shade than these two right here. So we're going to take them and we're going to compare the two and we're going to make a decision because <laughs> I'm not buying another gallon of green because every time you buy it, yeah, and that's the minimum that you can buy here. You can't get like a pint or a liter or a quart or what, you, you, the minimum amount you can get is one gallon and that's at all of the places that I've gone to. So that's the standard operating procedure I guess here. So we're going to try that. I had to be very careful selecting this color. And we'll see which one we decide. We'll make a determination today and we will close out the color for the shutters. And maybe we can use that green for something else. I'm not sure for what, what other trim we could use it for, uh, but maybe we can, I don't know. Or maybe we can use this one for some of the other trim so we don't waste any of this paint. So what I will, will tell you is I stopped across the street from the subdivision. I spoke with the uh, individual who is going to be in charge of trying to get the compactor down here. And the answer this morning was, well, it's not arranged yet, and he doesn't think they can get the one, the, the main compactor. I want the big compactor that's like, has a big plate underneath the bottom, because uh, I want to level all this, and we have to have that anyway when we do these bricks. We can't use these small, they have, they have a compactor that's like the manual we have, that has about a, about a 20 by 20 pallet that goes underneath the bottom, 
and they and, and it's just a vibrator that goes you know boom, 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 like that well that's not what I want because we want to do a large area and the large area needs to be nice and level and you can't get quite as good a uh, larger area with that and especially you don't want to use that on the grass blocks because you'll break the black grass blocks so what happens is when you use the uh, the larger size the larger size the vibrating that it does uh, the vibrating uh, makes everything all the grass and it shares the weight level it does a distribution of the weight across all the different uh, grass blocks and you stand less of a chance of breaking them so I will make sure that if these people do come in today with that one and it's raining right now so it may, maybe they might not even come but one of the things I asked my builder to do yesterday was to get a team on this work on the trench the closing up of the trench and doing the grade the, the uh, galvanized grate that goes on the top of it here here and there and none of that got done uh, which which means that if the um, if the compactor guy doesn't come then uh, it's, it's not a big deal because I wanted that in place because I want to know once the finish level goes inside here so if we have to backfill with any of the gravel that we have out there that we get it to the exact level but that didn't get done yesterday uh, while I was gone I don't think my builder was here much yesterday either because on the inside of the house uh, I, although there's a lot of stuff that probably got done on the outside uh, finishing takes a long time and it's not so noticeable uh, but on the inside you can see especially when they're putting down tiles and it just doesn't look like there was that many tiles I expected yesterday this was my expectations of coming back that the entire sunroom would be completed and that they would have moved on to one of the outside patios either the patio on the back or started working on this patio none of that got done yesterday so I don't think there was a lot of oversight here uh, with a lot of the work that went on so as you can see on the front of the house underneath the uh, the roof line that goes to the master bath the CR there they put the trim on there and the trim looks good that's exactly where I wanted a little bit higher above uh, so it's not the same spacing in between so what they're doing now I remember I said yesterday or the day before yesterday in one of the episodes I said I want them to just uh, bring one up to this one I, even though we might not use it I want to look I just want to see what it looks at looks like with that same piece of molding on there in the event that uh, it does look better you never know sometimes until you place something in a certain location and then occasionally it's like oh I didn't realize it's going to look like that so we're going to do that it doesn't hurt to do it uh, it's, it's like uh, going to someplace and asking the question can you give me a break can you give me a discount or something like that worst case they can say is no you haven't lost anything there is no level of effort nothing no resources expended on that so we're going to do the same thing here we're going to look just to see H halfway uh right side up a little your side up just a little bit your your side down just a little bit actually i like that i like it yeah i think it's okay i think it's okay i think we can put that there yeah yeah i think we and this one we can do centered not like the other one this one exactly centered between the top and the pergola and the, and the bottom in the keystone yeah I like it yeah yeah I know my wife's gonna probably be angry at me but I like it 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 looks good and I think it's gonna look, add uh, that one accent because I love the accent in the remember I showed you in the picture on the design on the front of the house and I, I do not want to lose that detail underneath the pergola it does something about offsetting and, and contrasting with the pergola right here and uh, I'm gonna make the call and I'm gonna bite the bullet on this one I need to take a trip down to McKilling uh, uh, my Builder said he wants to know what I wanted to find for the hardware, the, the hardware for the doors, which is the locking mechanism, the handle, uh, everything there. I've already defined all the hinges. We're not doing any of the gold or silver or chrome hinges. We're doing more of an antiquing hinge. I, I really don't like the gold or the, uh, the chrome finish for this type of house. So uh, everything was supposed to be 
all Oro Brand, everything, but Oro Brand is so hard to find in the Philippines. Uh, a lot of times you have to go to like China or bring something in from the US or someplace else other than the Philippines. They, they really like chrome around here. I'm not into the shiny chrome stuff. So anyway, I want to show you, we, we haven't completed it yet, but we're in, the, and we're only on the first coat, but they put the paint that I picked up yesterday at Wulkan, the darker shade, and it's only the first coat and it's not even complete yet, but here's uh, the, the one on the left that, that I just brought in this morning for them to, to uh, give us a test watch, and that's the old one that was on there that uh, we decided we need to go darker than this one. Tell me what you think about that. Again, it's only the first coat. They'll put the second coat on. It'll be cleaner and it will be completed all the way around. What do you think? I was just getting ready to leave to go, but I said, oh, I need to share something with you. I want to show you a couple of things inside the house that I just made a couple of decisions on as far as some of the tiling inside the house. And uh, I'll let you, I'll share that with you. Hold on. So one of the decisions we had to make this morning was what tile do we use for the rise that goes from the sunroom over into the great room. Do we use continuation of this tile or do we use this tile on the back side right here? So what we did, we took two samples. We took a piece of here, we cut it and we slid it in here. And we took a piece of this and we put it inside there. And this tile, what happened? This tile there's no, did nothing for me when we went from here to here. But when you put this tile right here inside the spot, what it does is it makes this seem like it's a full slab. It look, looks very rich and thick and you just have this accent piece here for the non-slip on the end, on the edge of it. Uh, he just pulled the piece off, and I could have showed you before he pulled it off. And what I asked him to do, because he had a no, no tolerance, no, uh, no grout line here, and I want a grout line at the base here, not at the top. I want this to be tight, but I want a grout line at the transition between this tile and the, the filler that we're putting inside there. And that will allow for, if there's any shifts or movement inside the, uh, the house or something like that, the grout line should be the first thing I'm hoping <laughs> that would break or anything like that. It would crack a little bit inside there and not the tile itself. And then the second change I have requested, or not a change, but a proposal, and I think it's going to work good, is that same brown tile, if I can find it. I hope one of the other will kind of drive inside. And, we, and I actually have a little bit left over, so I don't know if we have enough, but I don't think we do. But uh, we'll get more tile, and what we'll do, we'll do the same transition from the nice tile here that does the observation deck and runs into the master bedroom suite, but right here, we'll have a transition, and we're going to make a T, and the T is going to go all the way across here, and then back down this way. And what it does for this section right here, it's going to line underneath the baluster, the steel, uh, fencing rail that we have inside here with the wooden handle that goes over the top. On this portion right here, we will run that non-slip right across here and we will stop, we'll terminate it at whatever the point the width of the stair is. So it'll be a nice accent piece and it'll also define, especially at nighttime when you're, when you're walking, even though we have plenty of lights, you will see a big transition between these steps and you will know where the step is where you walk up. It'll be a safety uh, enhancement to walking to the observation deck up here. Hey, well, I'm in uh, SM Lupa, and what I have to do here, I have to pay my PLDT. Uh, internet bill and grab a bite to eat. I think I'm going to look down at uh, Ace Hardware and we might end up going home with a ceiling fan today. We need to let them install. My electrician will be there tomorrow and I will let him install it on the lanai if they have it in stock. Remember we didn't find it yesterday at Wilcon. They were out of stock there. So uh, let's start. Let's go upstairs. Let's go pay a PLDT bill.
right, so that's taken care of. Uh, let's run over to, let's grab a bite to eat Ace Hardware and then head over to McKilling. We came here to Ace the other day, so I'm in Ace now. And, and they said that this one, they gave me the price on this one, and I wrote down, they gave me the information, and their listed price, their regular price is 10,000 something, and, they're, and they're, there's 20 percent off, so it came down to 8,000 something pesos with the discount price. Uh, and they gave me the two numbers, they gave me the stock number, and it was in a flyer that they had, and it was, a, and it was a, in a white color and this brown color right here. And they also have, there's another one here, this antique one up here, the, the one that has the antique color, actually that would be perfect for the bedrooms. That would fit perfectly inside there. It's a, it's a neutral color and it's a, remember our theme is Tuscan Mediterranean, so that would actually work very well inside those rooms. Unfortunately, nobody has the extensions, you know, the extensions where you could drop down for like the vaulted ceiling in bedroom number one or the cathedral ceiling that we have in the master bedroom suite. Uh, so we will we have to we have to be we have to think out of the box and we have to be able to make our own maybe we can go to a metal shop and do some painting and get something close to the colors like that and i think we can because my guys are really talented and i think we can get some the only thing is it's brushed metal that's going to be difficult so anyway uh what they're trying to do now they're trying to find out uh if indeed the 20 percent discount price that they told me the other day if they had if, if it applies to one two or how many they have inside here so we're gonna see uh, uh, whether we leave here today. If it's 20%, it's about the same price set like they have over at Wilcon. And if it is, and I'll probably pick some up today because Wilcon didn't have any in stock, so we'll see. Perfect for your receiving. <laughs> <laughs> so indeed, they are on they are on sale. They are on 20%. Although this isn't the price they quoted me the other day, but it's very close to it. So uh, this one is uh, on sale. This one is 7,000. 7519 or something like that. It's very close to that one. So, I think what we'll do, I think we'll take this one, the antique one, and we'll put it in three of the bedrooms. We'll use it for three of the bedrooms. Or, what we can do, we can also use it for mm, downstairs because we have a spot in a big open area that has all the nice lights down there, and there's going to be a ceiling fan in there as well. Okay, so I was misinformed. Not on the price, but on the quantity. They said they had plenty of these in stock, and, and they, I'm getting this in white because we have a white ceiling, and on my porch, we have like a plantation porch around our house in the U.S., and we have white ceiling fans, white hunter fans out there, and the white looks the best. I think when you have a white ceiling and you have a dark brown like this, I think there's a little bit too much, too much contrast there. Although some people like it like that, and it's a matter of personal preference. Uh, but we're gonna go with the white. And they only have one of these in stock in the antique color that they have right there, but they have multiple ones in white. Which means, mm, we're, I'm just gonna get the one today. And uh, Ace is all over the place, so maybe they have it in one of their other stores, if this works fine. That's really probably the best way to do it anyway. Uh, test it out first. And if you like it, then you get more instead of grabbing them all at one time. Something I want to show you while we're here, and for people in North America and many other places that don't have that big gap underneath their doors like they do in the Philippines, uh, there's ways to keep bugs and varmints from coming in. And it, what they do is they use these things, they call these uh, bottom door seals. And you see these? You screw these onto the base of the door and they have this little, uh, it's, it's like a broom here. You get them in different colors gold silver brown 
and uh, you can use those. They also uh, have on for the bottom they have a little rubber seal sort of like you do on a threshold uh, like we have in the US and when you close it the door goes on the rubber seal and pushes it down and you get a better seal on that uh, but some people don't want to put that that piece of hardware on the floor uh, it, it, sometimes it looks unattractive so this is a good option when you don't have uh, that seal on the bottom so when you buy a real hunter, this is what you see on the box. <laughs> you see the hunter logo. Not what we got from Lazada. Anyway, they're gonna they're gonna open the box and we're gonna check everything out. came down here for and that has to that is doors and uh, hardware for doors so let's go on in and take a look so I'm doing this well anyway I'm here in McKilling and I can't find the 24 panel and I was that I really liked that they had at Wilcon but we're in a crunch right now and these are some nice doors I want something that will fit the Mediterranean they have all these different kind of panel doors and these are sort of modern and I'm not trying to go with modern modern right here and some are really modern, but this right here, it's simple. It has the archway, which we have lots of arches inside the house. And it's a simple design, and these are all made out of mahogany. And mahogany is a good wood. It's a strong wood. Uh, it lasts a long time. It, uh, it, it, uh, when they do the finishing, they put the ceiling and everything like that. It's insect resistant, so I'm not really worried about that, but this looks good. And I got Ram here, and Ram here helped me pick this out. And uh, he said they have you know, plenty in stock. Yeah. Plenty and stock. So I'm gonna give this number to my builder. Uh, Ram said he's gonna reserve six. You're gonna reserve six of the high quality, no defects, good, this, nice grain. I reserve. Use it for me. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get with my builder, and uh, we're gonna select these. And Ram also helped me select the Yale lock that we're gonna be installing in our house, and I'm gonna pick that up today. Good deal. Thank you very much, guys. And this is Ro and this is Robert. <laughs> If you ever if you ever down here with McKilling and you and you need a door, this is the man. This is the doorman back here. He knows every door he has in stock. This, this is your department, right? Robert's the man. So anyway, I'm gonna have them reserve six of these, and uh, we'll be installing those very quickly. All right, so we're good to go. I reserved the uh, the door lock. I reserved six doors, and I just turn over this information over to my builder, and he will set uh, set up for delivery. So let's get back to Villa Feliz and see what uh, was uh, accomplished today. So anyway, I'm kind of in a dilemma. I, I have a dinner engagement with my sister-in-law and her husband. Uh, you remember the ones that came from Br the British Virgin Island? Uh, the hurricane blew them out and they are now living here. So I am in downtown Lipa right now. And if I drive back to uh, Villa Feliz, uh, by the time I get there and turn back, it's going to be immediately I'm going to have to turn right around and come back out here to, the, to dinner. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of uh, pleasure shopping. I haven't done any pleasure shopping in a while, so I think I'm going to go pleasure shopping. Pleasure shopping means probably another building supply place. I don't know. Uh, but I have, to kill, I have to kill about an hour's worth of time. 
But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some shout-outs. I got some shout-outs today. I forgot. Uh, and when I checked my email this morning, my inbox started filling up with shout-outs. Uh, and I have to get a couple uh, out today. Uh, actually, I think it may be a few. And a couple of more anniversary shout-outs. One's for yesterday, uh, for, November, uh, for December 6th. And it's from Rowena Lambino. Uh, it's for her uncle and aunt. Her uncle and aunt are celebrating their 50th golden wedding anniversary yesterday on the 6th and they're gonna have a really big blowout from what I understand and their blowout is gonna be uh, they're gonna have a big party on the 17th so I don't know if that means that we're all invited it would be kind of funny if like 7,500 people showed up at their uh, <laughs> at their at their anniversary blowout but I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen because I don't even know where it's at uh, all I do know is that uh, uh, Rowena, uh, I think her, her nickname is Weena. She has a lot of cousins that are uh, OFWs. OFWs that are, oh, this guy is coming really close. To, wow, they get so close to you. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. So anyway, uh, they, she, she has a bunch of cousins that are OFWs, overseas foreign workers uh, abroad and working. And uh, I, I want to send out a shout out to each and every one of uh, Weena's, uh, her, her cousins out there. So anyway, happy anniversary to the, uh, the happy couple. And I have a second anniversary shout out to get out today. And it is the, the fourth anniversary of Wayne and Nora Ryland. And uh, Nora comes from B Call. So anyway, I want to wish a happy anniversary to the two of you. I also have three birthday shout outs for tomorrow, which is going to be probably today when you see this. Uh, but it's tomorrow for me which is going to be December 8th. And uh, Roy Dove sent me a request for his buddy, his buddy Craig, who's now living in uh, in the United Kingdom with his wife, Rhea, and their children, Samantha and Scarlett. So anyway, I want to wish a happy birthday to Craig. So anyway, I got a birthday request from Fred Ballas for his wife, and his wife's name is Purita, and Purita's having her birthday on December 8th as well. And uh, they, the, the couple live in, let's see if I can see the name, they, they live in Sindalen, uh, San Fernando, Pampanga. So anyway, happy birthday, Purita. And our last and final shout out is from Victor Bellin, and he wants everybody to know that is his daughter, his daughter Allison's birthday, and she, this is her 11th birthday today. And Victor's mom is also celebrating her birthday on the same day as his daughter Allison. And his mom's name is N.A. Perla, and she's celebrating her 76th birthday. How cool is that? Victor also wanted to let us all know that uh, daughter Allison and her mom live in Das Marinas uh, City in Cavite, uh, while uh, Lola, his mother, the grandmother of Allison, lives in San Pablo City, Laguna. So anyway, happy birthday to you girls. All right, so I decided to go ahead and go back and drop off all this equipment, uh, all the stuff that I got today, drop it off at the uh, build site, and then I'll head back out to my, uh, my sister-in-law's uh, home for, for dinner tonight. So uh, I hope I don't get there late, but I did call and they said even if I'm late, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to do that. So that means I'm going to close for now because in an hour it's going to be dark and uh, we can't film in the dark. So anyway, until tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be Friday. And tomorrow, remember, the CCTV folks are going to be coming and the CCTV folks are gonna be installing everything, the entire kit, the cameras, the NVR. The only thing they're not gonna install is a monitor. And I went and I looked at some monitors today and I found a Samsung monitor that might work and I, I could probably pick that up tomorrow as well if I have to, if they don't have one to test it with. And I'm sure they do. They seem like a very competent, uh, capable uh, installer. Uh, so we can check make sure everything works. Well, anyway, I am going to close for today. Again, tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow's Friday. And I'm anxious to go back just to see what got done because they started doing the tiling on the patio where the grill is when I was leaving. They were putting down all the lines for that. So we should have a patio completed probably by the close of business tomorrow, I'm thinking. Everything except for the pebble. I don't know if they brought the pebble in. So we'll see. Hopefully they get the pebble in pretty soon and they can do the pebble on the lanai from the bedroom number one on the first floor as well as the uh, the patio where the grill is. And once they get that done, we're going to start grilling. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My P.I. Dream in the bottom right hand side of your screen. 
and uh, you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified next time I upload a new video. So until tomorrow, you, you have a wonderful and blessed day.